Today might be the first time I'm not very excited to show you guys a deck list, and that's because I don't ever want this to happen to me. All right, guys, today's deck list that we're talking about is something that I actually never wanted to make a video on because I find it detestable. But we are still going to be playing it today because we found a new way. I didn't find, I should say, a, an opponent of mine found a new way to use Rakdos joins up to kill us in one shot. That isn't the typical way that you normally would with the Metamorph. Now, I know a lot of you guys know the Metamorph combo where you bring the Rakdos joins up back into the battlefield with the Abuelo's Awakening and it turns it into a creature. In turn, you can bring back the Metamorph and then cycle it out back into the graveyard, back into the battlefield, and you can go infinite with that combo to deal as much damage needed to win the game. Now, an opponent hit me recently with a different combo. They actually got down a Gambit's Greed on turn four, and then what they did is their Drivnod was already in the graveyard, but this is the key piece here, Drivnod. This was in the graveyard, and then on turn five, they just played their Rakdos straight up. And what happens is Drivnod comes back from the graveyard. And then at the end of the turn, Greed's Gambit is going to force you to sacrifice it, which is perfect, exactly what you need it to do. Because when Drivnod dies, it hits death triggers on all of your permanents two times, which means that Rakdos joins up is going to deal damage equal to this creature's power twice. Now, if you guys don't know, Rakdos joins up will bring this card back already with two 1-1 one -one counters onto it so it would deal exactly 10 damage twice being a one shot combo that was used against me so i thought that was a pretty cool idea and it, it dawned on me how busted that might actually be if you combine both combos because the downside the rakdos joins up is you need all the pieces to fall in the right place right you need you need the abuelo you need the metamorph and you need the rakdos both in the graveyard for it to work well we just added another two cards to the mix to essentially seam up that combo a little bit more and now it's a lot more consistent you just gotta you gotta get one of the two combos there's two existing one shot combos now built into the singular deck and we won an absolute rampage today i think we played like nine games we won eight of them destroying everybody this thing is crazy and uh yeah i honestly don't like that i'm even showing you guys this because i hate playing against this deck and uh it just got worse so enjoy and we'll see you guys here at the end peace out all right, guys, here we go. Let's jump right into it. Uh, we like this hand, I think. We've got a lot of things that we need here, but actually, do we like this hand? I don't think I do. I'm going to send that one away. This one looks a little bit better, actually. All right, cool. Uh, today, guys, we are here to do something that I'm not proud of. Also, by the way, ignore, ignore the percentage on the Mythic here. I've been trying some things. It hasn't been working out. It happens. But I'm here today to show you guys something that I wish I had never seen, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not uh, not too proud of this. I'm not a big fan of this style, but you know what? It uh, It's pretty silly, so let's show it. All right, so we got some five color nonsense about the pop off here. Let's drop our discarding effect here. Say go. The Great Door, actually a really underrated way of uh, you know, self-milling. I think this card needs a little more attention. It's such a great card. All right. Create a token as a copy of token you control into the battlefield this turn. Uh, Non-token creature control have. Create a token. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. We drop the Driv Nod. Oh, we get a nice little easy answer spell. I need a lot of help here, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I need a lot of help. Happy to help. Hopefully our uh, our great door can find us some pieces here. Good news is the opponent's never going to see us winning as an option um, until it happens. It happens really fast. <laughs> it happens instantly, some might say. I like that we have a lot of removal here. Um, granted, they're at the point of the game where I, you know, cheap creatures are probably not coming down. Okay. Another Liliana isn't a bad thing, but I... Yeah, maybe I keep the Liliana. That's good. I need to drop that, right? So we go ahead and plus this. We drop that. Drop it. We take you out. 
And then all we're looking for now is our Rakdos joins up and we win the game. It's that easy, baby. Let's go. Does that have haste? No, but it deals two damage to any target, right? So Liliana's gone. That's fine. Whatever. Luck favors the foolish after all. A land. Don't think I can keep that. Don't think I can keep that either. All right, we're gonna definitely be taking care of this creature here on field, and we're gonna be dropping the great door. Assuming we don't draw into a Rakdos, of course, that would be the card we drop. Liliana really getting it done here. I love that for us, just because it's going to help us with some card advantage. But if it draws me into a Rakdos and I'm forced to play it, that's a problem, right? Maybe I don't want it. Maybe I don't want it out there. Cause that could have been that could have been pretty bad. Okay. Let's play this. Man, we are really struggling to find what we need here, man. It's 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 been a little tough. <clears throat> I am going to grab the land and I'm gonna discard it immediately. Imagine my short-term memory was kicking in here and I didn't even realize it's in the graveyard already. That'd been so funny. Okay, buddy. They discard the last card in their hand though. We, we like that. We'd rather forget. Nice. Opponent is officially out of stuff to do. We like that. Uh, do we want to get back another land here? Or is there a permanent I can bring back for two or less that I like? No. We'll decline. I'll just attack with the ox and call it a day, man. There's really nothing I can do until I find that Rakdos. There's there's four greeds in our deck to help us find it, and then there's four Rakdos themselves, so it's kind of odd that I haven't found it yet. I've I've literally found it every game so far pretty easily. Um but this time around, making it tough. There we go. I think that's official like a referee whistle, guys. <clears throat> that's gonna be the game. Let's just get that last card out of their hand. We like it. We like it. It came just in time. Nothing more. You won't be and that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. That'll do it. You all know how this part goes. It's pretty simple. We bring in the Rakdos joins up. It brings in our artifact. They know the, they know the drill. GG's. <laughs> all right. Good first game. Let's get it. Okay, what do we think about this hand? Um, I kind of like this one. It's got Liliana to dr uh, drop the meta Metamorph. Um, yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. I like the cut down here on the Ginger Brute. It's huge. But yeah, guys, this deck, honestly, uh, it's not its not something I love doing because I hate having it done against me. It's, it's really unfortunate when it happens. So uh, I, I do hate doing it to opponents. It's not really super awesome to me. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a really busted combo and, and it's a lot more consistent now with the, um, with the ability to Drivnod as well. Um, we haven't done the Drivnod yet. Obviously it's only been one game, but it does help with the consistency of the deck adding that mix, but hopefully we'll see that soon. I hope they really only have this to commit so I can just Liliana it away. I do need to obviously grab a swamp off the top here. Nope. Oh, a cut down's good though. If I had to settle for a uh, second best thing I could have grabbed there, that was it. All right. Let's see what they want to do here. Now, now letting them on tap might have been a mistake here because they might use the tough cookies ability to activate the, you know, artifact as a creature. But we'll see. Returning a ginger brute. Weird that they play that on this, this build. Pretty strange. All right, we're down to 12. That's not, not great. Dribnod. Okay, got the Dribnod. I got the Metamorph. Uh, still struggling to find that Rakdos. We take that though. 
what do we do here, guys? Because we're we're off to a slow start again here. I mean, if I could top deck a greed, I would be so happy right now. That would be the card I'd want to see. Because if I can drop the Drivnod and just get a greed on this next go, we're, we're chilling. We can win in the next two turns. All right, they're turning one of those into a 4-4. Four, four. Not ideal for our life total. <laughs> We found a greed. Holy cow. You're saying there's an actual chance here, guys. I cannot believe this. Uh, we will need some red mana, though, for this to work. Let's put this down first. Let's play this. Give me a red land and a Rakdos joins up. And I win the game. We got the joins up. We got the join up. Okay. I like it, man. I like it. I like it. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. I just need a red source, though, to get this Rakdos played, and I, I, I could win. No red mana, though, is tragic. Could have literally uh, won this next turn. Darn it. Okay, the opponent is finally going to make a move here. It looks like they're going to animate the artifact. And I'm sure they're going to give Ginger Brute... Oh, I thought they were going to give it unblockability. Um, oh, they're just going to bring in another. Okay, got it. That's fine. Um, I will be blocking, obviously, both of them. Uh, I need to get... Let's see, Liliana. Stops that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive here. Um, unless I hit... If I hit a red source, it's GG's. If I don't, it's going to be dicey. If I don't, it's going to be dicey. This does become a creature, though, to block for me, which is fantastic. Let's go! GG's, guys! It's that easy. Oh, my gosh. That's all we needed, and that is a wrap. Holy cow, dude. I was sweating bullets there for a second. Drivnod, come on down. <laughs> End the turn. Sack the Drivnod. Uh, sure. We'll discard you. And night, night. <laughs> Night night opponent. Oh man, you're gonna wish you ate those food tokens. <laughs> you're gonna wish you ate those food tokens. So silly, man. So silly. Okay, guys, I'll admit it. I'm having a little bit of fun. <laughs> I'm having I'm having a little bit of fun, man. Trying to find all the puzzle pieces is kind of fun. It's kind of like trying to assemble Exodia, you know? Alright, let's get okay, we got another piece. Three really, really good pieces here. I do need um, more land. <laughs> I got to kind of go back to back here with the land drops. Hold on. I forgot to make a, a little note on that last video that we just did here. I like to make notes as I go so I don't uh, so I don't screw up the editing. <laughs> I forgot there was a pretty big dead space in that one. Got to remind myself to edit that dead space out. You guys get a little behind the scenes here. All right, cool. We got a land. Beautiful. And we got a target for the go for the throat. Beautiful, beautiful. But they are running a ton of artifacts, I'm sure. So um, go for the throat. It's going to be pretty limited. I need double black. Let's see what happens. Now, this is when it enters the battlefield. So we have time to play this before they gain the life. <clears throat> and it is important to, you know, kill this thing before they gain that life because it could end up being relevant. Gotta be careful how we do this. One more land would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, I didn't think so. All good, though. All good. We got a perfect... Oh, never mind. They don't want to play anymore. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I mean, that is pretty brutal. I mean, answer after answer is really annoying. I get it, but I did miss a land drop. If they knew that, they probably would have stayed. All right, man. Well, we're kind of on a roll right now, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. Got a... Pretty good start here. I'm going second, so I mean, if this turns out to be like a mono red player, we're kind of cooked with this hand, but we'll see. We don't got any cut downs or anything. Greed's Gambit kind of is a really good way to just, you know, get us back into a game, you know, with that life gain and whatnot. It's not. It's a control player. Quite the opposite of mono red, huh? Two Mirexes is a bit of a problem, you would think, for an opponent because that might mean they're struggling to hit the colors they need. I don't know what that does. Hold on. 
Uh, artifact, whenever you come to crime, put a loot counter on this. Triggers once each turn, add mana, and then remove two loot counters to draw a card. Got it. Check. Roger. Heard that. I probably should have just waited to do this on their turn. All good, though. Yeah, no, Shuffler's totally fine, guys. Shuffler is totally fine. <laughs> That's kind of unbelievable. All right, let's draw a discard. We'll probably drop a Gambit here. Let's play a Gambit. Look for a Red Source and a Drivnod. Red Source and Drivnod could win us the game. There's the Red Source. I've not found the Drivnod. We haven't found the artifact creature either, so this is off the table too for now. Ooh, they could have flashed that in and exiled my graveyard at any point. That could have been really bad for us, but they chose not to do so. I'm glad that's the case, because that would have been tragic. <clears throat> they must have not seen this Rakdos deck before. Had they noticed that the Rakdos was in the yard, like, they probably... Yeah, they probably would have done that a lot differently, but they must have not seen this combo before or something. Drivnod! GG's. Nice try, opponent. Uh, what's the colors left over? There's no blue. Add mana of any color. There might be some blue here, guys. This may not work, but I, again, I don't think they've seen this combo. Otherwise, they would have probably stopped it. Yep. That's a wrap. And that, my friends, is... Well, no, actually, that's not a wrap. Hold on, I gotta attack first. Let's not get too excited. I gotta get that two damage out. No! Oh, man! All right. All right, we'll just have to do it again. Down to three. I jumped the gun there a little bit. Jumped the gun a bit. All right, taking five. The opponent gains more life. Wow, that seems a bit, uh... That seems a bit desperate, right? Okay, then what's the play here? Um, how do I close this game out properly? Do I just do this? And this? And bring back this? Seems like the play, right? I mean, I don't see how, I, I don't know how that's gonna actually work with another Rakdos on the field as an enchantment, but yeah, we'll keep this one. I'll bring back this. Copy this. There we go. There we go. GG's. We got him. <laughs> All right. That was a little complicated. I overcomplicated that because they had the life gain available to them. Uh, you know, that, that vampire bat not being able to get in and do its damage really cost us there almost. But hey, we get the job done. Yeah, guys, I almost really... What bothers me about this is it feels like really consistent like today for instance i got down really bad right on my rank uh because i've been trying a lot of really funky things and i've been struggling and so i was like you know what i'll play some meta stuff and so i started playing some boros convoke and you know i made a little bit of a soldier's build or whatever and we were still kind of up and down up and down not really like winning a ton of games uh but we were kind of trending up but it's taken a while so i thought you know let's just shoot the video and now we're destroying everything so it feels like it almost feels like this is like too good. <laughs> if, it, if it's doing better for me than Boros Convoke, that's, that's bad. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what that was about, but we'll take it. Okay, what do we think about this hand? Um, seems a little dangerous because of the mana, but I'm going second. I should hit a land drop, and then I've got the uh, the great door to kind of sift through our, our cards here. But we find a land anyways. Fantastic. And it is a red source too, which is clutch. Uh, we have double black. Let's go double white. I don't think we need double white, but, you know, trying to mix it up a bit here with all the colors. Glimpse the core. We are ramping, and it looks like mono green. Mono green ramp, huh? 
Might see a Nissa, maybe an Analyst. I doubt it though, Mono Green. I'm thinking it's gonna just be more like Mono Green Stompy with like a, maybe like an Awaken the Woods with a Nissa, like the uh, Planeswalker Nissa. That might be their game plan. Stomper, a little bit more ramp. Oh, it's blue. This card's been really popular with people. I, I kind of think that's kind of awesome, to be honest. Uh, This is actually, like, winnable next turn, huh? Dude, we might have hit the absolute nuts here. This is winnable next turn if we find a land. If we find a land, GG's. Holy cow. That was fast. <laughs> turn four win? I don't think I've hit one of those yet. Watch him exile my card from the graveyard. All right. Interesting. Okay, it comes down to this. Can we hit a land? Oh, no, we don't. Tragic. Tragic. Okay, let's do that. Let's play this. We almost had the perfect turn four win. Would have been would have been epic for sure. Uh, me me throwing away that Rakdos was tough though, because it, it takes away one option, which is you know to get down the gambit and win the game that way too. In case something happens, like maybe they counter the awakenings or something. I don't know, but I think I made the right call. I think I'm overthinking it a little bit. All right, so that card is plotted. So they basically get to play that for free, and then they can draw or put counters on their creatures, depending on the size they are when they come in. Is that what they're going to do? Modified cost. Zero. Surely they'll play it sooner than later, right? <laughs> okay. I'm going to play it now. I get two more cards. I get two more cards to try to win this game. If I don't pull it off this turn right now, game is probably over for us. We probably lose the game because they've got a virtue of strength down, which is absurd what that thing can do, especially if they have a doppelganger in hand. We are in a lot of trouble. So, oh, this is not the card I thought it was. I thought this was the enchantment. Uh oh. Surely you're trolling me, right? Surely you're trolling me. Our turn four win just turned into a turn five win because of the mana problems. Unbelievable. Unreal. And oh my god, I just realized they pulled out of Jenga Taxes. I just realized that. Great. They better not kill Liliana. We're screwed. We're screwed, dude. We went from having the absolute perfect curve turn four win to losing this game. That's... That, to me, is wild. I, as long as I don't play another creature on the field, and I can minus the Liliana, we're fine. But I highly, highly doubt that's going to happen. Because now, if you guys aren't familiar, Jenga Taxis is going to basically counter any sort of instant or sorcery speed spell we make or play. So... Yeah, they're up to some nonsense, that's for sure. Oh my god, they didn't play a creature. They didn't play a creature. They just let their Jenga taxes get eaten. Oh my goodness. They have lost their mind. Well, they gifted us one here, guys. They must have not realized Liliana was on two right there. You got to give yourself another option to sacrifice there. You can't leave the Jin out there to just be taken out, but they did. All right, and they have two mana floating right now, so we probably before <laughs> pulling this off so we don't off get countered go. or something like that, we should probably go to main phase two here just to ensure that, uh, you know, we land it because the floating mana is gone now. All right, cool. Here we go. GG's guys, they are tapped out. It's official like a referee whistle. We just win the game here. 
Feels bad, man. Now we do this a couple of times. If not, yep, there it goes. GG's. Oh, you can go infinite with that as many times as you'd like. <laughs> wow, dude. I, I have no words for that game. All right. Well, we had no business winning that one, but it was a win nonetheless. So I'm very happy, but that felt like it was absolutely gifted. I don't know if I should have made this brighter from the jump. Oh, yeah, I definitely should have. Okay, here we go. We got Boros colors. Let's go ahead and drop this in case they drop a creature here. We're ready to fire that go for the throat ASAP. That way we have a good Liliana curve. All right, the opponent doesn't play anything, which opens the door for a Liliana plus. We drop the Metamorph. Dude, this deck, this deck is a, it seems like a problem. I'm not gonna lie, like, we are we're destroying everybody right now. I'm I'm thinking we can maybe go undefeated here. Who knows? I don't want to jump the gun and get too excited here, but it feels like that. The opponent though we're up against looks like they're a control player. That might actually come back to haunt us. Because think about go for the or get lost for a second. Get lost? If it blows up our gambit, it could be really bad for us, man, because it would um force us to sack everything. I'm still gonna play it because they've already played a get lost, and I'm hoping they don't have another, but Okay. This is like by no means ever something you want in your hand. So it's a free discard every time. But I'm a little bummed out that we didn't hit barely anything decent there. Now, if I do get my Rakdos, oh, that's a problem. Oh, I got the Rakdos. <laughs> I was going to say, if I do get the Rakdos, I just don't have a way to get it into the graveyard. Um, okay. I guess the Gambit discarding here is uh, the way to go. And we win next turn. Right? Making sure I have the right combo. I'm making sure it's not like the Drivnod combo and I'm screwing this up. All right, cool. So we dump this off. I believe I just watched a video of Malone playing this deck, I think. I think this is his build. All right, here we go. Another GG's, man. I don't know how, how it is. I don't know, I understand how it's this easy. It really shouldn't be, man. That's what, that's what worries me. All right, don't make me go through the whole thing. There we go. <laughs> all right, everybody's seen this combo by now. So once you start doing it, they all just typically concede. Good stuff. Okay, we've got every piece that we would need and want to pull the combo off, but we have zero ways to get things to the graveyard in hand. That makes things a bit dicey. Believe it or not, I think I'm going to mulligan this hand because as much as you need all these pieces, you kind of need a way to get stuff to the graveyard more. Oh man, and then we get even worse hand. That's crazy. That's better. That'll have to do. Well, we might have just uh, served ourselves up our first L. We probably should have kept the first hand on hindsight. <laughs> I mean, this hand is really good though. A, a turn three. Uh, with the uh, door is fantastic leads right into a perfect greed So we'll just need to be able to yep, I was just gonna say we just need to find the driv nod get it into the graveyard with the door and hopefully the gambit finds us the uh, Rakdos so we're we're on pace still for the turn five win Assuming the opponent doesn't kill us before then Yeah, they're kind of cruising, man. 
No damage done yet, though. I I just drew a sick go for the throat, which is fantastic, but I really need to play this to get that Driv Nod down. You know what? I probably should have played the Restoration and been on the safe side of things to ensure that I hit the land drop next turn, but... <sighs> what can you do, man? I made a mistake again. What else is new? This has saddle, huh? Ooh, that's pretty interesting. I like that. You saddle that bad boy up to draw a card and gain life. I like this card a lot. It's something I've been trying to build around. It's a vigilance creature that whenever you tap it, you draw a card and gain life, which is really difficult to do, obviously. I didn't. I never thought of saddling it, though. What a cool idea. I think, obviously, that's what it was designed to do, too. Can't believe I missed out on that idea. I was trying to do uh, some cheeky stuff with the Sika. Inga and the Sika. All right, nothing's got trample, which is the only reason why I think we still kind of have a chance here. That's really good. Please, please, please hit me a land drop. Please. Oh my god, okay. Every time we get what we need, we're always lacking one piece, huh? Oh, brother. This guy stinks. Okay, if we do this... We grab the land, it's gonna be a white source, which unfortunately does us no good here. Do we instead go bang, bang? Whenever it becomes saddled for the first time, mill two cards, I guess X, X, turn. Okay, so that doesn't do anything outside of what it's already done. I'm gonna send that away. And I'm gonna send you away. Okay. That'll have to do for now. I knew I should have went with Restoration. Playing out the Great Door was the mistake I made here to cost us the game. Had we played Restoration in its place, we would have got a land right away. But then again, we probably wouldn't have drawn that Rakdos joins up. Because once you get that land from your deck, your, your, your deck obviously shuffles. So I definitely wouldn't have gotten the same top deck. Something to think about. So who knows what was actually better, but it just feels like that was the wrong call. Can we try one more time? Oh my god. Wait, is this... Okay, I was gonna say, is this a mech? Wow. Our first L of the video comes from a mana issue. That's so unfortunate. I was really, really hoping to lock this in for uh, potentially an undefeated run here, but... At least we're losing to something cool. I like what they're doing here. Okay. I don't know, man. The greed might save me. The greed actually might save me. I'm going to gain a life, too, because I'm dropping something off and getting a Obscura. Oh, we're just dead here, actually. I didn't realize they were going to get that much power pumped into that thing. Oh, what a bummer, dude. We were on an absolute roll. And we had everything we needed there, too. Okay, here we go. One more shot at glory here. Um, the hand is good again. This is the exact same hand we threw away last time because I told you guys we needed more discarding effects, which still lies true, but... Let's see if I can learn from my mistake from last game and see if we can just find a three drop. All of our cycling cards are all three drops, so... Or Gambit. Gambit works, too. It's a good card. Gambit does a good job of just keeping us alive. Exile, return of your graveyard. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Alright, we got a red source. That is needed, I feel like. At least for the Drivnod play, but... I wasn't hoping to get the Drivnod play. I was hoping this would be like a, a door or a Liliana or something. Preferably a door. That's big time. That is really big. Okay, hopefully they play something like a, a fight rigging and they target the hammer skull. These sleeves are cool, by the way. I like that. All right, peace out. All right. Give me the Driv Nod in a cycling piece. 
There's a cycling piece. I'll take it. We drop you. Sack you. Okay. Yeah, we can win this one. I think this is a no brainer, honestly. Um, we just chump block the hammer skull. Unless they give it trample somehow. I don't think that's going to be a thing, though. Pretty sure this one is locked in, ladies and gentlemen. Got all of our pieces. Um, we take the two, I guess. Just really got to keep that 6-6 six, six off of us at the moment. Okay. All right, let's get this down. Let's pass the turn. And then this is the final turn for the opponent and the game is over. So can we take 15 damage is going to be the only question we have here. <laughs> Which, I mean, I'm not going to put it past them to put uh, that much damage onto us. They got 10, 12 on the board already. That's fine. That doesn't have haste. That doesn't have haste. Did we do it? I think we did it, guys. I think we did it, guys. All right. Sorry, my friend, but good game. Almost misclicked. That would have been hilarious. Except it wouldn't have been. All right. There's nine. There's another nine. Keep that. And good game, my friend. Good game. Oh my goodness. Uh, when they don't concede and I actually have to go through the motions, I get a little nervous. Palms get a bit sweaty that I'm going to screw it up, but <laughs> we did it right. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed today's deck list and video, man. This was... I hate to say it, it was fun. It was fun, but man, I really don't want this to be all over the place. It's not a deck list that I think I love playing against just because it's just, it's just impossible, man. Once that turn four, turn five hits, if they have what they need, it's GG's. It's it's literally that simple. As you saw, though, there are some answers. Uh, one of our opponents kind of messed up and didn't play uh, their flash creature that exiles the graveyard on, on the right time. They could have easily answered our combo. So. There are ways out there to answer this deck. I'm sure it's a lot of going to be a lot of graveyard hate that you're going to want to beat this one. So I'm sure if a lot of people started using this or whatever, it would it would definitely balance out the meta or whatever. But it just I I, I don't know. Whenever this combo gets used on me, it just doesn't feel good. And I, I hate doing that to other people. But I had to show you guys because it is really interesting and it is a, a, a super fun and cool idea. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I should be back again here on Monday with another video. Actually, I know I will be. Um, what I should be doing is I, I want to try to stream this weekend at some point. I, no promises. I, I'm always making assumptions that I, I can't keep. But uh, I want to stream this weekend because of the fact that uh, the rank's resetting. And I kind of want to speed run the rank a little bit. Maybe with this deck and also my lifelink deck that I have. Uh, I've been having fun with. But we'll see. We'll see if we can speed run, uh, speed run some rank. But uh, if you guys aren't already notified with the bell, hit that bell so you don't miss out on the live stream. It's here on YouTube. And uh, lastly, thanks for watching, man. And thank you so much to the Mardu Mob. If you guys don't know, the Mardu Mob is the membership program on the channel. So huge shout out to the people who help support me monetarily every single month. It means a lot to me. I really do appreciate you um, a lot for everything you do for me and uh, all the support you guys do monetarily for me. So thank you. Appreciate you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit him three times like a hat trick. Ooh. The name is Lizzie No Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mid yeah, that's magic, yeah. FTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, this is the meta. This ain't cheap, yeah.